G'day guys, welcome back again. Little experiment in browns and pinks today. My last pour I did blues and browns and I really love those colours so I thought I'll see what happens with pinks and browns. So just because it's a little experiment it's just my card, my 30 by 40 centimetre card or 12 by 16 inch. This one's a 550 gram in weight. If your paint is nice and thick and you've got lots of paint on there, it should just dry nice and flat. Some people, I think, have a really thin mix on there and it can curl a little bit. But you can get different weights if you can get a thicker one if you wish. Right. Now, my mix today is my 65% glue, 35% water. I just put it all in here. So that's the pouring medium. And in my cups, I've got 50 grams of pouring medium and 50 grams of paint. So 50-50 ratio. And I've got probably about 600 grams of paint for this size. For cells today, treadmill silicone oil. And I'm going to put three drops in each. This one I only made up a little bit, so that's just got two. I'm going to do four and give that a bit of a stir. My paint's pretty thick today. It is with this glue mix so it can handle a little bit of extra stirring in I think. So my colours, I've got a dark pink and a light pink. So magenta and peony pink. out of the way and then my browns have got a dark brown and a lighter brown that is burnt umber and that is burnt sienna the burnt sienna I put a tiny little bit of the raw sienna in just to lighten it a little bit I found that those two browns were a little bit too similar so I just lightened it a touch and then I've got this really sort of pale creamy color eggnog and some white made up a little bit of extra white. Now I did this one before, I used uh, an extra colour, I used this pink and it was really bright and it really took over, that's it there, pink really took over, you can't, you can't even see the brown. So I've taken that pink out and see what happens. And I've cut down on that beige as well. So hopefully it's a bit better. Yeah, it just the pink just took over. Okay, now I'm gonna pour a little bit in from up high. Just to see what happens. Because with that last pour. I lost all my white so you can hardly see it and I'm thinking because I put I don't know maybe I, because I put my white in the bottom we'll see anyway I'm just going to sort of pour them in from up high and just see what happens when they blend a little bit just a touch may work it may be awful so there'll only be one layer of this beige because it as I said it really took over that and that really bright pink wasn't good okay a little bit of magenta so the first round I've poured in from up high and my next round I'm just going to layer on top because I don't want them to mix anymore. And I'm going to try and get more paint out. With my last one I left so much paint in the cup. Maybe that's why, maybe I left all the brown and the white in the cup, I don't know. It's just too much paint left behind. 
and I only had three cups that time so I thought if I do four I might be able to get more paint out because when you've got one bigger cup you sort of pull down and um, you've covered the canvas but you've got too much paint left in the cup so I'm thinking more cups are still pulled down but each cup will cover more of an area if that makes sense so I should be able to get a little bit more out of the cups oops haven't got much of this pink left such a pretty pink these colors remind me of the Neapolitan ice cream If it works and I end up doing another bigger pour, I might call it Neapolitan. I'll change that up and put the magenta next to the pale pink. And then I'll put the brown on top. I'm thinking my pale pink might get lost a little bit with all that brown. Okay, and lucky last is chocolate brown. So we've got a chocolate brown and a cocoa. It's nice, this. I like this mixed with a little bit of the, uh, what was it, the raw sienna. It's a pretty colour. It's just warmed it up just a touch, otherwise the two browns were so similar. Okay, let's do this. Wipe my hands. Okay, just wait for that for a minute. I'm not sure how it's going to go with me blending those colours, my first run of colours, dropping them in from up high. Hope it works. Hope I haven't made a mess of it and going to get mud and wasted all that paint. But um, yeah, hope, I'm hoping to get a little bit more chocolate. I'll show you this one again. I made a video of it, but I'm not going to put it up. <laughs> it's too bad. Way, way too much pink and beige. Cross fingers that this one doesn't do the same, hey? Right. Let's go. Oh, pretty. I'll go a little bit slower and try and get more of the paint to come out. I don't mind if it doesn't make it all the way out. I just want to get it on my surface. Okay. Well, I'm liking that, I like those stripes. So I've got a little bit of paint left, not, not terribly much, certainly not as much as I had last time. Now I'm going to torch. I'm really liking the stripy look to it. And the magenta and the white has made the pale pink anyway. Oops, I'm getting a caterpillar. I'll try going a little bit higher with my heat. Go higher, see if that'll help. Higher for longer. Actually, that's okay. I think I think maybe I'm also torching too much, and I'm getting too many cells up. That could also be a problem. I'm going to go through that caterpillar. No reason why you can't. If you don't like a section, go through it. Why not? Oh, look at that. I've got a million little tiny ones from putting the torch too close. Okay, now I'm resisting the temptation to torch more because I just think that I'm torching too much and I'm just getting a mass of cells, so let's not do that. I'll be happy with just less cells but more formed pretty cells without them bumping into each other. Okay, 
And I'm going to do this corner first. Get a little corner catcher here, one of my dirty sticks. She might go that way at the same time. Come back again. Got some pretty cells. Push that paint off and back. Yes, I'm liking these much better. I think the problem was last time over torching. See this? It's just, it's too much. Too much. Right, now I'll get another stick and go for this side here. Come back. I'm keeping the stick there because I don't want that paint to go off. I want to keep it. There's no point putting a stick there and then moving it away while you've got a big, big pile of paint there and it just all falls off the side. There's no point to that. Okay. Um, this is a lot of blank area here. Let me just torch that. Let's see if there's anything under there. Little pink ones popping up under there. So you don't have to just torch once. If you want to torch again midway through, you can. So you bring up some interesting cells there before you keep tilting. And then those cells there can stretch a little bit too. Not as much, but they will stretch a bit. Just help this all over a touch. Don't want to move it too much. I just want to get over that corner a little bit more. Push some of that cream off the side because there's a lot of cream there. Again, the chocolate hasn't really shown through, has it? A little bit of dark brown there. The rest of it's quite um, dulled down. Okay, move my sticks. Well, that is much better than the last one, I must say. All right, leave it like that. Clean up underneath. Like so. Okay, what do you think of that? Still not as dark, chocolatey as I wanted, but it's okay. Do I want a torch? No, I'm not going to. I'm going to back away. I like the stripes. Bit of plain there. See these cells on the side that I torched after? They've grown quite nicely. They're nice cells. Uh, the only thing I really don't like is this middle bit where I got carried away with the torch. And I got too many cells and now, you know, I've stretched them and it's just, it's a bit messy there. But lesson learned. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. I've got some nice cells, got some lovely multicoloured cells here. My white has certainly shown up more this time. I still don't know where all the chocolate's gone. Probably dulled down with the white, but it's, it's pretty good. It's better than the other one. There's the other one. You can see the difference. There's just way too much pink in that one. And the cells, the magenta has really popped through. See this one here, it's got white, magenta and pink, like three or four colours in those cells. So they're really pretty. That magenta's really come out next to the light pink and, and made it pop. Right, I'll take you in for a bit of a close-up of it. I still don't know whether I'm going to do a big one like this. I don't know what I would do with it. It's not really my colours. 
Okay, let's zoom you in a bit. Oops, that's a bit high, isn't it? Come down a little bit. Okay. Oh, I'm quite happy with that. I think on the screen, maybe the pink looks a little bit more red. It does when I'm looking back on it, looks a little bit red. So overall, pretty happy with it. I just need to not torch so much at the beginning. And as I said, this is only my third pour with this glue mixture. Uh, so it does react a little bit differently. So I'm just going to have to tone down the torching at the beginning and uh, I won't have that massive cells there in the middle that is just a bit bit too much. I prefer the more separated cells. Okay, so but an improvement on the, the previous one today. All right, uh, have a go at pink and brown. See what you think. I don't know that it's really my colours, but it was an experiment. All right, so I'll see you for the next poll. Bye for now.